Hello everyone, this is Y Manoharadi, Department of Cyber Security, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today, I am going to explain you the concept of attacks using ICMP messages. Attacks using ICMP messages. So, ICMP stands for Internet Control, Internet Control Message Protocol. So, ICMP stands for what? Internet Control Message Protocol which offered the services of message transmission which offered the services of message reception and displays the messages in the form of both query messages as well as error messages query messages as well as error messages so there are different types of attacks are using this icap messages so what are those types of attacks what are those types of attacks so the first one is what a mapping network topology mapping network topology so mapping a network is very strategic part of most intellectually planned attacks most intelligent planned attacks so if attacker wants to do the plan of attacking it is very important for using this mapping of network topology mapping of network topology with mapping of target network. So this initial step in reconnaissance attempts to discover the live hosts, discover the live hosts in target network. So when you are targeting a target system like www.zntu.ac.in, if one target, if you are targeting on this target system, the initial step is to reconnaissance attempts to the find out the live hosts find out the live hosts so those are nothing but the ports are available ports are open ports are closed ports are open ports are closed so that live hosts on the target network is to be discovered an attacker then can redirect then can direct a more focused scan or exploit toward live hosts only so they can able to focus the scanning of the target system and exploit the attacks towards live host directly. And sending individual ICMP echo, this is what a ping command does. So sending individual ICMP echoes and sending that ICMP echo request to the broadcast addresses, broadcast addresses of the network, broadcast addresses of the network. So sending ICMP echo request to the network and broadcast address of subdivided networks. Broadcast address of subdivided networks. Those subdivided networks are, uh, we can call it as like a subnets, subnets, which contains both network ID and host ID. Network ID and both host ID. So sending an ICMP address mask request to the host on the network to determine the subnet mask to better understanding how the map is efficiently how the mapping is efficiently how to map efficiently so to find out the network topology to find out the network topology based on the scanning type based on the scanning type they found the live hosts directly they found live hosts directly so finding the live host directly with this technique, with this mapping of network topology is one type of attacks. And the second one is what? A smurf attacks. Second one is what? Smurf attacks. So ping a broadcast address with the spoofed IP. So using another IP with the spoofed IP of the victim as a source address. All hosts on the network respond to this victim. All hosts are responding with this respect. So, when you are sending, uh, when you are connecting with the target system, so suppose like a ping space 192.168.4.163, this is the target address. To communicate with this target address, the source address use, source address use, what IP address, spoofed IP address, source address use, spoofed IP address, spoofed IP address. So, now by sending this all the broadcast addresses to this victim the victim is overwhelmed the victim is overwhelmed so here the keys are amplification and ip spoofing we are using so the amplification and ip spoofing we are using and the next one protocol vulnerability 
so that the implementation can be patched by violating the protocol specification that means the protocols are not the protocols are not able to follow at that moment the protocol vulnerabilities are finding protocol vulnerabilities are finding so to ignore the pings to broadcast addresses and icmp echo just used for convenience just used for convenience purpose and all icmp messages can be abused this abused this way and fragile is the equivalent with udp a fragile is the equivalent with udp so here the icmp messages the pinging messages are the query messages and error responsive messages error responsive or request messages so error messages and query messages are given a chance to attack of the target system of the target system the so smurf attacks is one type of attacks and ping of death attacks so ping of death of attacks are icmp echo with the fragmented packets so ping of death attacks are what icmp echo with the fragmented packets and maximum legal size of an icmp packet is what 65535 minus 28 that is 65507 is the size is the size of icmp packet icmp echo packet and fragmentation allows bypassing the maximum size is what offset plus size is greater than 65535 so fragmentation allows bypassing the maximum size up to what offset plus size so how much which is which is greater than 65535 it should be greater than 65535 so by doing this by occurring this ping of death attacks the, there is a chance to os crashes there is a chance to os crashes and the same attack is also happening with the different ip protocols same attacks are also happen with different ip protocols and icmp redirect attacks icmp redirect attack so here the routers are used the routers are used to transmit the data transmit the data so at that moment ask a host to send their packet to the target router so which which host the this is the destination host this is the local host so this is the target host so which target host you are going to attack on the target system so at that moment so the target is what the target is what router so now the packet is sent to the pack target router target router so this is the target system and the router used by this target system so sending a uh, packets sending a mol format packets mol format packets to this router this router is available at receiver side this router is available at the target system so the sending packets are going to target on the target system and it is useful for man in the middle attacks so this scheme this technique is also useful for the man in the middle attacks man in the middle attacks so by attacking these all attacks the win freeze windows are going to be damaged windows operating system is going to be damaged and icmp redirect so you are the quickest links to host z quickest links to host z that means these attacks are giving a chance to attacking immediately and they are providing a quickest link and the host changes its routing table for z itself so host changes if any host is changing or if any route is changing automatically the routing table automatically the routing table for z host z is also get changed also get changed and the host send packets to itself in an infinite loop so host sending packets to itself in an infinite loops infinite loops so more number of more number of uh, sending packets uh, towards to the target system is uh, is the process of redirecting attacks so sending more than one packets and more than one times to the target system and uh, what is smurf attacks so what is been by smurf attack A smurf attack is a type of it is a type of distributed denial of service attack. It is a type of 
distributed denial of service attack and that overwhelms a network with a high volume of requests so sending high volume of requests so sending multiple ping multiple ping multiple ping sending high volume of requests high amount of requests and smurf attacks send a flood of internet control message protocol requests so that flood contains what icmp requests so sending multiple icmp requests to the target is what is what overwhelming the network overwhelming the networks so the targeted networks to exploit ip vulnerabilities and significantly slow or shut down the devices on the network so by sending this multiple icmp requests automatically so it leads to the shutdown of the systems or it leads to the serious severe diagnosis of the network in a smurf network in a smurf attack the data are icmp echo requests or pings you can call it as icmp echo requests or pings the attack uses devices connected to the network to create a botnet so to creating that botnet to creating that mal formed packets the devices are connected to the network the devices are that the attack uses devices connected to the network those devices are connected to the network they are targeting on these devices they are targeting on these devices and that overwhelms the network with high volume of pings high volume of pings they can shut down the services or disrupt website visitors and lead customers to competitor websites also lead customers to competitor websites also and it also be cover up for more serious threats it is also cover up for more serious threats like data theft or intellectual property theft intellectual property theft so these all the different scenarios this different consequences are we are facing this smurf attacks so why is it called as smurf attack why it is called as smurf attack the smurf attack is named after an exploit tool called smurf so the name come the name came after exploit tool is smurf that was popular in the 1990s that was popular in the 1990s the icmp packets created by this tool so at at that time at that 1990s they are using this exploit tool for creating icmp packets creating icmp packets by the tool were small but took down big targets so it's look like a small it's look like a small but it uh, took down a big targets similar to the characters in the popular cartoon the smurfs similar to the characters in the popular cartoon the smurfs how does a smurf attacks works how does so why it is called a smurf attacks over and how does a smurf attacks works actually a smurf attacks works similarly like a ping flood so ping flood that means sending sending multiple pings sending multiple pings multiple ping requests that is nothing but like icmp request that is nothing but like icmp request to the target machine to the target to the target ping floods are also ddos attacks we all we already said that like uh, different types of ddos attacks like uh, smurf attacks ping flood attacks icmp redirect attacks all those all those are categorized under ddos attacks so here ping floods are also ddos attacks that overload target networks with the icmp echo requests with the icmp echo requests the difference is that a smurf attack does more damage the smurf attacks does what more damage by using all the devices connected to the network all the devices connected to the network so target network so they are targeting they are focusing on what targeting the devices targeting the devices which are connected to the which are connected to the network which are connected to the target network so whoever the devices are connected to the network network that devices are targeted first the devices are targeted first sending all the icmp requests or ping flood request to these devices leads to getting slow service or getting slow getting slower uh, loading of the system getting slower loading of the system or service inability of the system 
and here we can see how the attacker uh, using how the attacks works here so a uh, hacker one hacker or host one uses somewhat spoofed ip addresses uses somewhat spoofed ip addresses to send an icmp echo request that is nothing but ping requests or ping addresses to the host two to the host two so setting off an automatic response automatic response the time it takes for the response to come back to the host one measures the distance between the two hosts so in how much time the host two will gives the response to the host one will measure the distance between the two hosts it measures the distance between two hosts then when an icmp echo request is sent to the broadcast network when an icmp echo request is sent to the broadcast network it initiates a response from every ip address so once the request is made by the host 1 automatically the devices which are connected to the host 2 gives the responses from each and every ip addresses responses which and every ip addresses connected to the network like a computer security exploit smurf attacks take advantages advantage of this vulnerability to maximize the damage to maximize the damage so here we can see the attacker 1 the host 1 sends a spoofed ip addresses with the ping request with the ping requests so all these ping requests are going to be all the ping requests are going to be uh, attacked by all the target system all the targeted system so now all these icmp requests all these all for these icmp requests the responses are responses from every ip address responses from every ip address are made which are connected to this network or responses are made which are connected to this network so that leads to maximize the damage that leads to maximize the damage because they are all connected they are all connected in the lan network and they are all connected the devices which are available in the network so hence all these systems get uh, attacked by this attacker one and here a smurf attack is a type of ddos attack that uses ip spoofing to take down networks to take down networks so down networks is nothing but making your network is un unreliable or making your network is inaccessible or service is not reachable service is not reachable and here is how a denial of service smurf, smurf attacks works so here the first one is what malware creates a network package malware creates a network package first of all the next uh, icmp ping messages are sent to the target ip addresses so first of all a malware creates a like a network package then icmp ping messages are sent to the target ip address for each and every ip address it checks each and every ip address of the target sending all the icmp requested to the ta targeted ip address so continuous echoes con sending that a continuous echoes brings down the network Sen sending that all continuous echoes gets uh, bring down the network so what are the types of uh, smurf attacks so there are based on the situation based on the presence of the attacks based on the uh, effectiveness of the attacks we can uh, divide it into three types like basic smurf attacks and the second one is advanced smurf attack and uh, through downloaded software or application through the downloaded or software application so basic smurf attacks are what they, they are just they are just attacking with the help of some requests they are just attacking with the help of some requests but not having the more damage but not having the more complex damage but in the case of advanced smurf attacks sending all icmp requests to all the ip addresses which are connected to the network which are connected to the target network at that moment each and every a system which is connected to the network are giving responses to this host responses to this host so in that case the damage will become more complex the damage will become more complex and through downloaded softwares or application through some sort of softwares some sort of downloaded softwares or applications we are downloading some set of softwares from internet right so at that moment also some of the attacks are happening in the real time 
and what is the difference between smurf and fragile attacks so this is also one type of icmp attacks so smurf attacks is also one type of icmp attacks then what is the difference between smurf and fragile attacks so a fragile attack is a variant of smurf attack so a smurf attack is actually a device attack a fragile attack is also a device attack but a fragile attack is a variant of the smurf attack where smurf attack sends icmp echo requests but a fragile attack sends udp requests not icmp requests they are sending udp requests and smurf smurf and fragile attacks use different methods they are using different methods different techniques different policies different principles but both target ip vulnerabilities to get similar result both targeting on both targeting on the ip address to find out the vulnerabilities and uh, will get the similar result will get the similar result so how to prevent the smurf attacks how to prevent smurf attacks so first one is what disable ip address ip broadcasting disable ip broadcasting is what one is what one type of prevention so disable ip broadcasting this feature sends data packets to all devices on given network this feature sends data packets to all devices on given network so it's exactly what smurf attacks rely on to increasing their attack surface so sending all the packets to all the devices which are connected to the network so for them for them we are going to disable ip broadcasting on all network routers that means simply disable ip addresses disable ip addresses of all devices of all devices which are connected which are connected to target network which are connected to target network so those who all the devices are connected to the target network we have to disable that all the ip addresses we have to disable the all ip addresses and the second one is what configure host and router thoroughly configure host and routers thoroughly so smurf attacks weaponize the icmp echo requests smurf attacks are weaponize that icmp echo requests so what you should do you can configure your hosts and router to ignore this all the requests ignore this all the requests so for that what you have to do equip your device with the powerful anti malware protections like avg antivirus softwares some of the antivirus software some of the antivirus software so with the help of this anti malware protection software you can make your uh, your hosts and uh, routers are to be more configurable more configurable so in that moment how we are going to find out the errors and how we are going to uh, correct that errors so error reporting versus error correction so icmp is an error reporting mechanism icmp is an error reporting mechanism it displays it informs the messages it displays or informs the messages so the internet control message protocol allows routers to send error or control messages send error or control messages to other routers or hosts so the routers are in between that hosts and the target system at that moment how the routers are participating they are giving a messages they are informing a messages to which problem occurs during the transmission which problems occur during the transmission for that icmp provides communication between the internet protocol software internet protocol software on one machine and the internet protocol software on another machine so it provides the communication between ip software on one machine to ip software on another machine so icmp provides a way for routers that encounter an error to report the error to the original source and suggest possible actions to take in response to the error reports so suggestions has to made and report the errors and suggestions has to made the corrections of errors when a datagram causes an error when a datagram causes an error icmp can only report the error condition back to the original source of the datagram back to the original source of the datagram the source must relate the error to individual application program or take other action to correct the problem 
so one is what they have to uh, they have to the source must relate the error to individual application program that means it has to find out the detection of the error or else it has to take the other actions to correct the errors so one is what detecting the error and the other one is what to correcting the error correcting the error so icmp reports problems to the original source however it cannot be used to inform intermediate routers about the problems so it does not inform the problems to the routers for example suppose a datagram follows a path through a sequence of routers like r1 to rk suppose i am having the routers r1 r2 r3 like that up to rk this is the source and this is the target system or a destination so now if any problem occurs in the middle of these routers like r2 or r3 so r3 if r3 has the problem on data transmission if r3 has the problem of router then it does not identifies that r3 has the problem for r4 it does not identify that r4 the r3 has in the problem so maybe it is uh, it is a problem of r2 also so that the rk has incorrecting routing information and mistakenly routes the datagram to the router re so re cannot use icmp to report the error back to the router rk so it does not gives the uh, information message to rk the problem has occurred at the r3 or r2 it does not gives the guarantee of the problem that occurs in the r3 or r2 it sends that the problem has occurred but it does not gives the direct guarantee of the problem occurred at r3 or r2 so icmp can only send a report back to the original source it it sends report back to the original source unfortunately the original source has no responsibility for the problem or control over the misbehaving of routers misbehaving of routers in fact the source may not be able to determine which router caused the problem so even though source cannot able to understand the problem occurred at r2 or r3 or r4 because they the data transmission is started from r1 to rk but in the middle of the transmission in the middle of the transmission of the routers there may be a chance of occurring router failures right so that is not a guarantee of that is not able to determine by the source also so this is the way we can identifies the errors and uh, uh, detection of the errors and the correction of the errors but we are not giving the guarantee of the errors that occurred at particular router because the routers are not able to deliver the information uh, deliver the information about error conditions or error situations where it is actually occurred where it is actually occurred so source even source is also not able to determine which router caused the problem which router caused the problem so that is all about this uh, attacks of using icmp once again we revise the topics which we discussed in this session so here the first one is what icmp attacks so what are the types of icmp attacks one is what mapping of network topology attacks so based on the network topology the attacks are going to be mapped and second one is what smurf attacks smurf attacks are there and third one ping of death attacks ping of death attacks and fourth one is what icmp redirect attacks icmp redirect attacks and the main important uh, attacks are smurf attacks based on the type of ddos based on the type of ddos distributed denial of service attacks so here what is meant by smurf attack and why it is called as smurf attack so before 1990s the they are using exploit tool to creating the icmp packets so that uh, the name comes from there only the smurfs are there and how does a smurf attack works so sending multiple ping flood requests or icmp request to the target ip addresses which are connected to the network which are connected to the network so sending all the icmp request to the all targeted ips now all targeted ips given replies to the host also so here by creating network package and sending that icmp messages and continuous echoes sending continuous echoes also getting bring down to the network and here some of the types of networks basic smurf attack advanced smurf attack and uh, through downloaded software or applications 
and the difference between smurf and fraggle attacks so smurf attack is type of dd voice attack but fraggle attacks are a variant of smurf attacks so how to prevent these attacks so by disable ip broadcasting and configuring hosts and recruiters are very securely very securely and the error reporting versus error correction so how the errors will be occurred during the transmission of the data and how we are going to detect that errors how we are going to correcting them through help with the help of routers under data transmission so that's all about the attacks using icmp messages and the error reporting and the error corrections thank you all like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates